Hey everybody, it's Alyssa. Welcome to Embellish with Alyssa. I am ready to stamp with you tonight. Well, almost ready. I forgot to look up this stamp set in the catalog so I could show you right where it is, but I just found it. So now we're ready. Uh, page 21 through page 24 has the most adorable Berry Christmas stamp set ever. It's called Very Cute. It's all about polar bears stinking adorable and I've got some great Christmas cards tonight to share with you so buckle in for some fun um, this is the punch love that very cool and if you're thinking uh, I don't I don't necessarily need a bear punch well wait till you see the cards for one thing <laughs> but you are more than welcome of course to hand cut the bear and because the punch is shaped specifically to this particular bear um, you would have to hand cut the other two bears anyway. So if you need to save a little bit of coin, um, just get the stamp set and not necessarily the bear. So I really like the stamp set partly because of the bears, obviously, but then the font style is just really nice and bold, which is good for um, sending cards to people whose eyesight is beginning to fail a little bit. And then I really like that it says Merry Christmas instead of like Happy Winter or something like that because, you know, I send Christmas cards, not winter cards. <laughs> so if you're interested in purchasing anything you see tonight on this live, um, I sell Stampin' Up! at lissa.stampinup.net. And my blog is embellishwithlissa.com. Lots of ideas for all sorts of cards for all sorts of seasons on there. So let me show you a few that I've made with this stamp set. I think they're stinking cute. So we've got trees, we've got a snowflake stamped background, we've got presents, we've got ornaments on our trees. Very fun. This one we cut up the whole bear family. So we have the whole, the whole thing. And inside is the sentiment, Christmas is better together. Love that. Super cute. That's what my club is making tomorrow and Tuesday. And then this is the one I thought we could make together tonight. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. I'm going to show you how to do this background. It's actually a stencil. And then we're going to be punching out this bear, cutting out another bear, and then the inside is just as cute as the outside. So let's do that together, shall we? All right. Well, the background is the most important piece on this card, so we're going to go ahead and start with that. But if you want to stamp along with me, um, you will need a regular card base. So this is eight and a half by five and a half. Then I chose uh, Misty Moonlight as my card base color. Then for the mat behind here, I chose Boho Blue. Um, it probably actually should be Balmy Blue because that's the um, blue that I did all the stamping with. So either will work. Boho Blue is a brand new blue. Balmy Blue has been around a little while. But anyway, a mat of another shade of blue. And then the next size down is um, three and a half by five. And that will be your white or your vanilla if you want to do... Well, do white, because polar bears are white, right? All right, so that's that. And then you'll need a piece of white for the inside, too. So not a complicated card as far as cutting. Um, and then there's just one little strip. It's an inch wide by four inches. And that will be just to bring the bears up from the background so they don't get lost, because the background is kind of busy on this card. Um, I could have done, like, a torn paper snowbank. That would have been cute, too. Um, but I have all these scraps <laughs> left over to use, so I just put a scrap behind there to help bring the bears up from the background. Okay, so I'm going to set all those pieces aside, and we'll set our card over here. And I'm going to protect my table. Let's see, I have tape here. And I like to tape down my grid paper that's protecting my table, just so it doesn't slide around. And then I know I have a good firm workspace. So that I've got my um, Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to layer the stencil over it. Now let me talk about the stencils for just a second. They are from a set, which I just ripped the package today <laughs> very badly. Um, you can tell it's well-loved already. It's called Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. And it makes amazing, amazing card backgrounds just gorgeous um, and I'll show you a couple samples quick while I've got you here 
with um, this is all a stencil except for the the sentiment isn't that amazing the background the houndstooth is a stencil the sunflowers are stencils I really like this stencil set so because we're still in fall I've been using the um, the sunflower one the most isn't that pretty in blue look at that so I know I've shared those uh, sunflower stencils before. This one's my favorite. Um, but I wanted you to see some out-of-the-box ideas for color for that. Very fun. This one's got a cute little fun fold. So anyway, that stencil pack is totally worth it. And if you need it and haven't been able to catch it while it's in stock, because it's so fabulous, it's sold out um, twice now, it's sold out. So um, I actually over-ordered for my last class, and I have two extras. So if you want to contact me, I will hook you up with the um, leftovers from my class kits, and um, you can get the stencil that way. The way we're going to apply the ink to the stencil is by um, using a blending brush. So I've got a blending brush in, oh, I didn't grab one of my purples. Yeah. There we go. Good thing it's within arm's reach. So we're going to need a light blue. Again, I used balmy blue. We're going to need a very light um, purple. So I'm using fresh freesia. And then we're going to need a little bit darker purple, which for me is uh, Highland Heather. So this is actually stenciled twice, once in the blues and then once in the purples. So let's just start, huh? So if you wanted to, you could use washi tape to secure your paper to the grid and your stencil to the grid as well. And then nothing would move. Or you can risk it like I usually do. <laughs> and just kind of wing it and then regret that. Um, but since this is going to get glued down anyway, I'm just going to put a dab of scotch tape behind there. That will keep that down. And then because I don't care if my grid paper gets messed up or not, I'm just going to put a piece of tape um, at the bottom there. And that'll just keep it pretty much in place um, for my needs this time. So I've got blue ink here, balmy blue, and you want to use little circular motions. And I'm just going over every snowflake, doing some really light and some really dark. And remember, you can always add more ink later, but you can't ever take it off. So go, go easy on it. Go light. I'm just going to go carefully over the rest of these. I love these new thick masks. They don't um, pull up or tear easily at all, unlike a lot of masks on the market. And um, these have been vastly improved. All right, adding a little bit more. There we go. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. And then watch when we take it off. Isn't that gorgeous? So if you're in a hurry, of course, you would just stop there and that would be your background. But we're going to take it over the top by changing it up and now and adding purple snowflakes. So let's see, how do we want this? I want to arrange it so that the snowflakes overlap, but not like cover each other up, right? I'm going to start with my darker color this time and just do a few in that darker purple. Artfully placed. <laughs> There we go, a little bit up here maybe, and then that super cute light purple, Fresh Freesia. I'm going to come back in and do the rest of them with that, just to keep the background overall fairly light. I did it, all, I did it pretty dark on this one and it, it was a little overpowering I thought, so I'm going to try and keep this one a little bit lighter. This just goes on like butter. I love these blending brushes for stenciling for sure. It ain't your grandma's stenciling anymore. Did anybody ever stencil on walls? I used to do that quite a bit actually. It's kind of a amateur house decorator and I I did stenciling for people and then on my own house too. Boy, that's a long time ago now. <laughs> 
but stencils are back, but they're being used for card making. So there we go. Oh yeah. I really like that little bit lighter of a, of a background. So I was a little bit lighter hand with ink on that one. And then the stencils just wipe clean with a baby wipe, or you can put them in the sink and rinse them off. Um, super nice, easy backgrounds. That would be very easy to mass produce too. There we go. I'm going to tuck this away because we don't need that anymore. Get the tape off my tabletop. All right. And let's see. I'm going to put the brushes out of the way so I don't risk smudging anything. And we'll start with our card assembly. So I hope you guys had a restful weekend. We just had such a good day at church. Oh my goodness. Very convicting messages this morning and uh, again this evening and great talk around the um, lunch table um, with my kids and my parents. We just had, whoops, I just put glue on this. See, this is why I can't talk and stamp at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this on the inside because it's got glue all over it. <laughs> and then we'll just have to come back and stamp that later. What I meant to do was put the mat on. Yeah. And then the snowflake background. Because we're all done with the background. Those snowflakes are so pretty. You could just add a sentiment and that would be your Christmas card right there too. No muss, no fuss in any color you wanted, right? Oh, this is going to be cute. All right, and I've got my little strip. I hate to cover up any of those snowflakes, but there we go. Okay, so we're all ready for our bears next. I've got Scratch uh, Whisper White, basic white cardstock here. And I'm going to use Misty Moonlight, which if you remember is our card base color. So it's not, it's not quite a navy, and it's not a light blue. It's just a nice... Um, dark country blue, I would call it. And what do we need? We need the mama bear or papa bear. There we go. We need the baby. We need the tree outline. And we need the tree inside, which I'm going to do in balmy blue. Now, on the sample, I did Balmy Blue ink stamped off. I'm going to try it full strength first and see on my card. Yeah, see, I don't like that because it's a different shade of blue. So let me give myself another tree. I can use that on a different card. And we'll do the stamped off and then just add it on there. Oh, yeah, that's better. So yeah, you basically have two colors of ink in every pad because you've got the full strength and then you've got the second stamping and a uh, really good idea to have extra hues that way. You know what? While I've got that open, let's do the inside. So here's my card inside and I've got the other bear, the seated bear who makes me laugh because <laughs> he's just so cute and, and dopey. So he's down in the corner, and I've got the sentiment. This is a good card if you don't want to write a whole lot on your Christmas cards, because you can just sign your name down here, and that's plenty. And then I'm using Fresh Freesia to bring in some of that purple. We've got, um, what are those called? Snowflakes. Snowflakes. Where's the other snowflake? Oh, I don't think the other is. I've got a tote full of stuff sitting on the floor, <laughs> ready for tomorrow's Christmas club. And that, that's where the missing stamp was. And I've got a present and his little hat, because it's cold. He has to wear a hat. And a scarf. It looks like I stamped that in the lighter blue.
easy to line up because um, they're all clear photopolymer stamps. So that's nice. So yeah, that's our inside. All right, back to the outside. What have we got left? Well, this is glued down a little crooked there, and it's too late to move it. That's too bad. Hopefully, we'll disguise it with the um, with the animals on top. So, like I said, there is a matching punch, and it does just cut out the one bear, which is great if that's the only bear you're using. <laughs> but if you're mass producing, be sure to take into account the time that you'll need in order to cut out the other um, bears and tree in the set but if if yeah price point is what you need to really keep an eye on for your Christmas cards then um, you can do without the punch tell hubby how much money you saved right by not getting the, the matching punch I do really love the matching paper packs though if you have to choose between the punch and the paper packs get the paper <laughs> but regardless you can get the uh, stamp set is always going to be the best bang for your buck because they last so long and you can do them in any color and they come with all the sentiments and everything that you need to build your little bear scene so they really are when you think about how long they last and how versatile they are the stamp sets are really the best the best deal for paper crafters The little bear, I'm not going to say he's fun to cut out, except that he's so cute, of course. But he's got all these little legs, so he does take a minute to go around. Don't judge me by my paper cutting skills. <laughs> all right. Oh, I was going to grab some dimensionals before I got going here, and I didn't. I'll just grab a new sheet. We'll break in a new sheet tonight. So these are going to help raise the images up from the background again so that they bring the focus. Bear's so little, he only gets one. And then we'll just build our little scene with the Christmas tree. And the mama bear slash papa bear, whichever you need. And the baby bear. So cute. So you saw how quick that was, even though it's got a lot going on and a fun background and everything, it was still a pretty quick Christmas card. So I hope that I've encouraged you to think about making your own this year, make it be easy and fun and not really expensive um, when you get right down to it. Um, the stamp set is a little bit of an investment, but it'll last for many years to come. and. Everyone will absolutely love your stinking cute polar bear cards. So fun. Oh, I had a, a rhinestone up here in the sky too, but it doesn't really work on this card. So cute. Super cute. Well, I've enjoyed stamping with you tonight, and I hope you have enjoyed seeing what I made with the very cute stamp set in the um, 2023 holiday mini catalog. It looks like this. If you need one, just let me know. I would be more than happy to send you one. You can shop for Stampin' Up! at lissa.stampinup.net. Remember that it's not .com, it's .net, stampinup.net. And then embellishwithlissa.com is where I put all my card and page ideas um, just as a permanent library of what I've got going on there at embellishwithlissa.com. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your weekend.